Welcome to the feature clip on the analytical portal in SAP Business One release 9.3. One of the principal elements in a company is to have access to reports at any time, anywhere. The analytical portal gives an organization the ability to access relevant reports from different devices. Let me introduce you to the analytical portal. The analytical portal provides a gateway to reports like Crystal Reports or Microsoft Excel that can be published or shared with other users. To access the portal, you use Google Chrome via the following link and simply enter your individual HANA server address and port number. Every SAP Business One user has access to the analytical portal and sees the reports which are authorised to that user. The authorization of these documents per user is managed in SAP Business One and reflected in the analytical portal. Reports can now be downloaded directly and support different formats. For Microsoft Excel reports, available formats are PDF, Excel or HTML. For Crystal reports, the format is PDF. The flexibility to download in different formats means it is not necessary to have an SAP Business One client or Microsoft Excel installation to access these reports. And the key benefit is the reports are made available on different devices, such as a web client or a mobile device supporting on-premise and on-demand users. When a user has accessed the portal, the most relevant reports can be marked as favourites. The Favourites Reports tab is then shown as active. Reports can be scheduled daily, weekly or monthly and the results can be sent via mail to the relevant recipients. When the report is scheduled, the Report Scheduling tab is also shown as active. Report runs are saved in the report running history and information like report name, type, start date time and run status for example are listed. Via this list the report results can be downloaded and viewed. You can also configure the maximum number of report results. This functionality gives a company the possibility to schedule reports, share them, get access to them from different devices and gain an overview of historical data. Here is an example business case scenario. Jason Butler from OEC Computers uses the analytical portal to consume several important reports on his mobile device and marks these reports as favourites for easy access. He would also like to provide these important reports to several employees who are often working out of the office. And to ensure his employees receive these reports regularly, he schedules the reports to be sent via mail to the relevant recipients. Jason ensures that the relevant employees have the appropriate authorizations to view their reports. So let's have a look at this business scenario in the analytical portal for SAP Business One version 9.3. In my Google Chrome web browser, I am able to log into the analytical portal as a super user, Jason Butler. And to do this, I've selected my relevant server, my company database, and then I enter my username and password. Jason has authorization to see all Crystal Reports and Excel reports as a super user. The reports are categorized into the different modules such as purchasing, sales, and inventory, for example. The Excel reports have the Excel symbol next to the report name, and Crystal reports are shown with the diamond next to the Crystal report name. In this view, Jason is able to mark the important reports as favorites by clicking on the star symbol. So in this case, he's going to mark the sales opportunities report and the annual sales analysis by quarter report in his favorites view. After he marks, for example, these reports, the Reports tab is now active and he can select on the Favourite Reports menu option and here, listed under the categories, are his favourite reports. Jason would like to run the Annual Sales Analysis by Quarter Report and schedule it for several users. To run a report, you simply select the All Reports tab and in this tab, you can click on the report that you would like to schedule. So in this case, it will be the annual sales analysis by quarter. You then need to select the document type, and in this case, it will be an invoice, the posting date year, which we will enter 2017, and also the customer group, for example. So for all customers. 
and then we select the run option. Here we then can see the annual sales analysis report by quarter based on the filters that we entered previously. We then have the option to print the report or of course to download the report accordingly. You also have the option to email the report to relevant recipients. If we navigate back to the All Reports menu, we can see that there is a little red icon next to the Annual Sales Analysis Report. This is the History icon. When you click on the History icon, you can now see a report running history of this report. It lists all historical data, even if the report run fails, for example, if you added the incorrect date. Jason would now like to schedule a report. Let's navigate back to our All Reports. There are two options for scheduling reports. You can run the report again, like we've just done, and then you can click on the Schedule icon that appears, enabling you to set the scheduled options. Or, next to your reports, you've got an option called Schedule, and here you can set the relevant settings. So we're simply going to select Schedule. In this case, we're going to schedule the sales analysis by quarter report to a number of employees. You first need to select your document type and under your report parameters, we're going to set the posting date and of course our customer group, which will be for all customers. You can select the format, but because this is a crystal report, the only format that is available is PDF in this example. You can then enter the frequency and time range that this report will be triggered. So you might want to trigger this report weekly, for example, start at a particular time and you've got the option to select an end date, which in this case will be the end of the year. You can also select an option to choose how long you would like to keep the history of running these reports. And finally, we select who's going to receive these reports. We're going to select Bill Levine, and also Donna Brown as being the recipients to receive these reports. You've got the ability to enter a subject and any comments related to the reports. We then need to name our report schedule. And now that we've scheduled a report, our report scheduling tab is now active. So if we click on the report scheduling, here we can see all of the reports that we've scheduled. All users have the possibility to run and schedule their reports pending authorization. So now we're going to log in to the analytical portal for user Brad. As you can see here in Brad's analytical view, we can see that he can view three reports, the sales opportunities report, annual sales analysis by quarter, and monthly customer status. If we try and run the sales opportunities report, we actually receive an authorization error message. So let's actually have a look at Brad's authorizations in SAP Business One. We're now logged into SAP Business One as Jason Butler, who is a super user and can view and manage user authorizations. So firstly, we're going to open up the general authorizations window. We're then going to navigate to user Brad, and now we can review user Brad's authorization profile. If you have a look under sales, Sales Reports, we can see that Brad has full authorization to view the crystal reports for annual sales analysis by quarter and monthly customer status. However, if we have a look at the Sales Opportunity Report, Brad has full authorization to view the Sales Opportunity Report under the Analytics option. However, under the Semantic Layer, he has no authorization to view opportunities. So users need full authorization to run different crystal reports, for example, the annual sales analysis by quarter report. 
But with Excel reports, to run the Sales Opportunities Report, Brad needs authorization for the report itself, which he has, but as well as the corresponding semantic layer query view for opportunities. So we're going to grant full authorization to Brad to run this Excel report. So if a user only has the authorization for the report, then the report is visible in the analytical portal, but the user cannot run this report. So once we have granted authorization, we're now going back into the analytical portal and running the report under user brat. Once we have granted authorization in the analytical portal, logged in as user brad, we now have the same possibilities to work in the analytical portal as Jason Butler, however, restricted to the reports which you have the relevant authorization for. So let's now try and run the sales opportunity report. Well, that concludes our feature clip for today. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out the other feature clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.3.